shakeout. This is the moment I've always been waiting for. I wanted to be your wife since our sophomore year of high school, and I can't believe it's finally here. You're my best friend. I love you more than anything in the world, and I, I can't wait to start a family with you and be with you the rest of my life. So Jacob and I met when we were 15 years old. We were freshmen in high school and I was the new kid going to a brand new school. I was really nervous. I had no idea what was going on. Jacob was this crazy, obnoxious kid in my English class who always got in trouble. And I would always come home and be like, oh my gosh, mom, this kid is so insane. Like, I don't like him at all. First time I actually talked to her, we were in our freshman year English class and she'll deny it, but I asked her for a pencil and she's like, uh, sorry, I don't have one. One of my best buddies asked her for a pencil like five minutes later after that. She goes, oh yeah, here you go. That, <laughs> that, so I thought she was kind of a snot at first. The first time that I actually knew that, you know, I had like an interest in her, I really liked her, was actually after I got rejected asking another girl to homecoming. I really wanted Jacob to ask me, but he wanted to ask this other girl. And she came up afterwards and the girl told me no in front of a bunch of people and stuff. And she came up to me and, and I gave him a hug and I said, I will always be on your team. And I walked away and that was that. And that was the moment I first knew I really liked her. After. She kind of gave me that hug the first time I knew I had that interest in her. I actually wanted to go ask her to homecoming since I just got rejected. So I'm like, who are you going to homecoming with? She's like, oh, I'm going with so-and-so, you know, and I'm like, crap. So I kind of backed off and then I just kind of, you know, did my own thing. She was a cheerleader. I played sports. So I got to see her all the time, but I, I mean, we never talked. And I didn't talk to him until February when I went to a basketball game and I sat ne next to him randomly and we just kind of talked a little here and there. And I first found out that day that she had broken up with her like previous guy. And so I went right over and I'm like, hey, uh, how you doing? We started talking and there's like a little winter informal dance coming up. So we kind of got to talking about that. And I asked him like, hey, are you going to the dance tomorrow? And he was like, no, that's so lame. And I was like, you should totally come. Like, it will be so much fun. It's like just something fun to do. He was like, yes, all right, we'll go. But we weren't going together. We were just going to meet there at the same time. So we get to the dance and we don't even talk. We don't dance with each other. We're just, he's on that side of the gym and I'm on this side, like nothing really, whatever. And then after he asked if I wanted to take a picture with him and I was like, okay, sure, we can. And then afterwards she's like, hey, you should come get ice cream with me and a couple of my friends. Which is like not like me at all. And we went with this other like couple and we're sitting in the McDonald's parking lot and I looked at him and I said, why don't you ever hang out with me? I am so fun. And he like laughed at me and was like, you know what, you are fun. So I hop out of the car and I get in my mom's car and I'm not even out of the parking lot and he texts me, he's like, you wanna go get uh, ice cream tomorrow? You wanna go ice skating? She's like, yeah, I'd like that. Day of, I go to text her and my dad's like, no, you play baseball, you can't go ice skating, you're gonna get hurt for the season or whatever. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta bail on that. Can we go to a movie instead? She's like, yeah, and I, I get to Village Point, we're going to see Safe Haven. And I get there like 15 minutes in advance, I'm kind of pacing back and forth in front of the theater. So we get to the movie theater and my mom drops me off and he opens my door to the, get into the movie and I just like, oh my gosh, this is the nicest guy ever. So we get into the movie and he is sitting up like this, like super stiff. And then in the middle of the movie, he looks at me and he was like, hey, Hannah. And I was like, yes. And he's like, you know, and back in the beginning of the year, you said you would always be on my team. And I was like, yes. And in my mind, I'm thinking, this kid is gonna ask me about this other girl while he's with me, this is so rude. And he's like, would you still be on my team today? And I was like, yeah, I guess. And he's like, would you be my girlfriend? And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I would love to. And oh my word, he grabbed my hand so hard and like I lost circulation and I was dying. I was like peeling his fingers off of me. 
And then after that, I was stamped as Jacob Rao's girlfriend, and for the last five years, that's been my name. I, Hannah Both is ceased to exist after he branded me with his name. When we first started together, we were just, I mean, we weren't even friends before, so it was just like we're getting to know each other, having a good time and everything. And when I first knew I like really, really liked her and like she was different from other girls and things like that, she was the easiest person to talk to like ever. She was, it's like talking to one of the guys, you know, she's one of like my best friends like instantly. We can talk about anything and everything and it's like, it's no awkward moments or anything like that. It's just a friendship, you know? So, I mean, we kind of started off there and went on like some dates and stuff. We didn't really hang out a ton like during the beginning stages because neither one of us could drive yet. So I mean that kind of summer is when we first started driving and we hung out like that whole summer like almost every day. That's been the best five years of my life and I'm so happy that I got to walk through all through high school with him and through our college years and now we get to live together forever. And yeah, it's just awesome. I get to be with my best friend. When I really knew I liked, like loved her, when I knew it was like real, was after just this knockdown, drag out, blow out fight. The moment I wanted to marry him is when we were at Viking Lake and he said, we need to break up because I'm not good enough for you. I was at such a low in my life and I went to her and I said, I've made, you know, mistakes. I am, you know, not a good person. I don't deserve you. I'm like, you, sh you should break up with me. And I said, no, we're not breaking up. We're going to work through this and you are the person I want to be with. At the end of our conversation, you know, we're both crying and uh, she gave me a hug and she said, you know, it, it doesn't matter what your family life, it doesn't matter what your past looks like. She said, I, I love you for you and we can get past whatever together. I promise I'm going to be here by your side. I mean, that was the first real love that I felt ever. And at that moment, as sophomores in high school, we decided we wanted to get married. And that's when I knew, you know, that this is real. That's, that's going to be my girl, you know. <laughs> sister got married to her Jacob that's when we really started discussing like okay are we gonna do this for real or are we just gonna kind of just go on with emotions leading up to the engagement I think the one thing that made me really want to go do it was her older sister's wedding her and uh, her husband Jacob Overcamp had been together for like gosh, like six years or something like that, some crazy amount of time. So we always kind of made fun of the both girls. They kind of latch on and then they're good to go for the long haul, you know? But I got to be an usher in their wedding and that was one of the like coolest things I've ever been a part of in my life. You know, it's seeing these two kids who started off at, you know, such a young age. I knew them from the time I was 15. I'm like 17, 18 years old at this time. I got to watch them kind of grow and mature and uh, they kind of paved the way for Hannah and I, you know? And I got to see their example and Something about that day was just, it just, it struck me in my soul. So I went out a month after they got married and I bought her engagement ring. And we didn't get engaged for like a whole year after that. So I mean, I had that ring and I'm making little payments on it, going things like that afterwards. And I'm, she has no idea, you know, I'm keeping her completely in the dark and all that. And I knew it was happening. I knew it was coming. And I knew we were gonna get married in August. I just didn't know when he was gonna pop the question. We kind of build up to that point and I go to talk to old sweet dog David Voth. I go, you know, I love your daughter so much. And he, you know, he knew that this is what we were going to talk about and everything. And, uh, you know, I love your daughter, this and that. And I want her to be the one. I want to be her provider. I want to be the one that takes care of her, you know, after you. And he goes, no. I went, oh my God. I went, what now? And I'm like, in my head, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, okay. Well, what do you mean? I said, I mean, is there anything that I've done wrong? Is there things like that? He said, you're just too young. You're not ready. You know, what he didn't know was like that whole time where I had that ring and Hannah didn't know about it. I'm sitting there and like I'm looking up student loans, financial aid, apartments, everything like that. And I'm like figuring out schematics of what I'm going to have to make, what I need to do to do that. And I showed him that piece of paper and he goes, huh, 
He goes, I'm kind of surprised. You thought about this a little bit more than I was prepared for. I was prepared to tell you no and meet another time like six months from now, but he said, I, you might be ready to do this. But anyway, like a month later we go and we go straight back to Viking Lake, that place where you know, I first really knew that, you know, she's the one. It's such a special place for us. So when we went camping at Viking Lake in September and my mom was like, we're going to do Grace's senior pictures and our family pictures at the same time at the lake. I didn't think anything of it. I got in touch with family out of town and everything and they were all coming in that weekend. So that whole day of the engagement, uh, the day I'm going to ask her, I'm like going over my lines in my head. I'm running around, longest day of my life. This whole Saturday, he is so mad at me. Like, I feel like he's so mad at me because he's ignoring me. I taught myself how to do like the little bridge thing, shuffling cards, you know, because I'm tinkering, I'm playing catch, I'm going on bike rides. I didn't talk to her the whole day. She thought I was mad at her. So then we get to the area of where we're gonna take pictures at and Joanna, our photographer, was like, okay, let's start doing couple photos. So I go like, hey, let's, Jacob, let's go, let's go do it. And he kind of like stood back and like wouldn't talk to me and I was like, okay, you're being rude. And finally it gets to that time, we're like texting back and forth, you gotta come now, we're about to do it. And you know, sunset hits and everything. She's like, okay, Hannah, Jacob, time for your couple pictures. And we go over. And as we're taking pictures, Jacob is telling me that he really loves me and I'm so beautiful. And at this spot that we're standing, this is where we decided we were gonna get married when we were sophomores and that he can't wait to spend the rest of his life with me. And me being so naive, I'm just like, uh-huh, we're just trying to take a photo, stop talking. I said what I was gonna say and dropped to a knee and I said, Hannah, both will marry me. I like instantly start crying, I'm like jumping, I'm like, oh my gosh! And then he shows me the ring and I like rip off my promise ring, I like throw that away and then I'm like, put that on me! I was like so excited. And then I turn around and his whole family's there and my family's there and it was like the most perfect proposal ever. It was everything I dreamed of. It was the ring that I wanted, even though I showed him two weeks ago the ring that I wanted. And he was like, you're never going to get that. It's too expensive. And he bought me the exact ring a year prior to our engagement. She has made me into a person that I never even imagined that I could have been. And there's absolutely no way that I would be where I'm at today without her. She is by far the most compassionate person I have ever met. That is the absolute coolest thing about her. I've never met someone whose heart bleeds for other people the way that hers does. She's just an incredible person. I have been blessed by God in having the only person on this planet that could help take my view, point it back to the path that God wants me on. God put Hannah in my life, you know. Uh, she's the biggest blessing I'll ever get. My favorite thing about Jacob, his heart, 100%. He has the most loving and gracious heart I've ever met. He has come through a lot in his life that um, if I went through it, I would have not been able to be as strong as he is. Um, and his compassion for others and his love for me is just incredible. The things that Jacob has done for me, <laughs> I know for a fact when God created me, as cliche as this sounds, when God created me, he was thinking of Jacob because he is my perfect match. He's so perfect. And I'm, I'm, I'm the lucky one. I'm definitely the lucky one to have him. And I'm so, so thankful that he chose me to be his wife.